Hi, a little experiment today. This is uh, an old uh, cathode ray tube from a projector set which uses three colour CRTs. So we take a little look at this uh, for a number of reasons. They're a little bit different from a lot of normal CRTs uh, in that they actually use quite high accelerating voltages. The coating on the screen produces quite a large light output. Um, this particular one has electrostatic focusing. This was one of the later last ones. Um, as I say, the acceleration voltage is generally above what you find in an ordinary colour CRT. Uh, so that would be in excess of 25,000 volts. Uh, so that brings in uh, an issue with x-rays. You can see there is a, a lead shield on this CRT around the screen. And also the coating of the glass here uh, is obviously doped with something uh, because it's quite coloured so I'm actually assuming that is a, a barium doping to give that shade. Sometimes it's lead but lead glass tends to be a kind of bluer in colour. Um, the other thing about these is uh, there have to, because there's so much heat generated on the, the screen, the beam cannot stay still. It has to be scanned as a, a normal raster, which means if you do run them with any length of time, yes, you get burns very easily on the phosphors as it has here. And in fact, even with the raster, you can see the shading on here over, over time. So the idea is I'm going to try and just see how much damage the, the, the electron beam can do to the phosphor on the screen. So to do this I've got a high voltage supply here and I can connect the output of this high voltage supply which is variable between, well I can take up to well over 30 kV easily so we want to be able to hook that into the anodes on the CRT and of course we also need to have the um, heaters supplied and other grids inside the electron gun. I've got the focusing arrangement hooked up um, so that we can try and narrow the beam because I want a spot beam here. Um, I'm just trying and see what we can kind of do to this CRT. As I say, it's it's done. It's damaged now anyway. Yeah, it did a new burn anyway. Hmm, a little flash over in the gun, I think. Something rather strange is Oops. So what I think has actually happened is for all that's quite a serious crack. It hasn't come all the way through to the, the front face. It's uh, pretty close to it though. You can see it. But that does mean that we still have a vacuum in here for the time being. Um, not really keen to push it any further. Okay, I've actually uh, dismantled the CRT a little bit. So I've split it with a hot wire around the casing. And okay, we can see some of the bits have fallen in here, unfortunately. We can see the damage on the fluorescent coating. Okay, you can actually see that there was quite a bit of heating occurred on the centre there, and the, the glass is cracked. Um, it's cracked from the inside as well, and then this has propagated this crack across here.
it's kind of eroded the aluminium coating here but not completely removed it. It definitely is a kind of blob hole there. So that was quite surprising. I didn't expect it to fail just as quickly as that. Uh, I think I've only once ever seen a, another CRT which I suspected of an electron beam hitting the glass surface and cracking it. Uh, this did take uh, quite a bit of effort but this is uh, the thickest part of the, the screen and there's definitely evidence of the uh, glass melting underneath the point beam where the beam landed. Uh, and that would have caused the stress for the, the, the faceplate to crack. So I see it has cracked across diagonally, but um, that crack is not doesn't appear to be right through to the other side. Not sure if you, it's quite difficult to catch that on camera, I think. But no other signs. I say they can see the metalized coating, the aluminium coating on top of the fluorescent material there. And, uh, and the the neck and the the cone part and the uh, say the electron gun single beam electron gun. So I guess it's interesting you can break a CRT from the inside out. <laughs>